Goodness of Fit, Wikipedia Audio The goodness of fit of a statistical model describes how well it fits a set of observations. Measures of goodness of fit typically summarize the discrepancy between observed values and the values expected under the model in question. Such measures can be used in statistical hypothesis testing, e.g. to test for normality of residuals, to test whether two samples are drawn from identical distributions, or whether outcome frequencies follow a specified distribution. In the analysis of variance, one of the components into which the variance is partitioned may be a lack of fit sum of squares. In assessing whether a given distribution is suited to a data set, the following tests and their underlying measures of fit can be used. In regression analysis, the following topics relate to goodness of fit. Fit of distributions The following are examples that arise in the context of categorical data. Pearson's chi-squared test uses a measure of goodness of fit which is the sum of differences between observed and expected outcome frequencies, each squared and divided by the expectation. Kolmogorov-Smirnov test, Kramer von Mises criterion, Anderson-Darling test, Shapiro-Wilk test, chi-squared test, Akhik information criterion, Hosmer-Lemcho test, Kuiper's test, kernelized Stein discrepancy. Where the expected frequency is calculated by where the resulting value can be compared to the chi-squared distribution to determine the goodness of fit. In order to determine the degrees of freedom of the chi-squared distribution, one takes the total number of observed frequencies and subtracts the number of estimated parameters. The test statistic follows, approximately, a chi-square distribution with degrees of freedom where k is the number of non-empty cells and c is the number of estimated parameters for the distribution. For example, to test the hypothesis that a random sample of 100 people has been drawn from a population in which men and women are equal in frequency, the observed number of men and women would be compared to the theoretical frequencies of 50 men and 50 women. If there were 44 men in the sample and 56 women, then Coefficient of determination, lack of fit sum of squares, reduced chi-squared if the null hypothesis is true, the test statistic will be drawn from a chi-squared distribution with one degree of freedom. Though one might expect two degrees of freedom, we must take into account that the total number of men and women is constrained, and thus there is only one degree of freedom. Alternatively, if the male count is known the female count is determined, and vice versa. Consultation of the chi-squared distribution for one degree of freedom shows that the probability of observing this difference if men and women are equally numerous in the population is approximately 0.23. This probability is higher than conventional criteria for statistical significance, so normally we would not reject the null hypothesis that the number of men in the population is the same as the number of women. Regression analysis A binomial experiment is a sequence of independent trials in which the trials can result in one of two outcomes, success or failure. There are n trials each with probability of success, denoted by p. Provided that n p i 1 for every i, then chi 2 equals i equals 1 k n i n p i 2 n p i equals a l l c e l l s o e 2 e equals backslash sum equals backslash sum dot 
This has approximately a chi squared distribution with k1 degrees of freedom. The fact that there are k1 degrees of freedom is a consequence of the restriction n i equals n equals n. We know there are k observed cell counts. However, once any k1 are known, the remaining one is uniquely determined. Basically, one can say there are only k1 freely determined cell counts, thus k1 degrees of freedom. The likelihood ratio test statistic is a measure of the goodness of fit of a model, judged by whether an expanded form of the model provides a substantially improved fit. Categorical data Pearson's chi squared test Example, equal frequencies of men and women Binomial case Other measure of fit